What's up, lads? My name is Ragnarok, and welcome to my show. Today, we will be continuing Undertale, but before we get into that, I would just like to say 99.4% of you guys have not subscribed. So, if you'd please do that, then make me happy. And without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, last episode. We killed Metaton. Which is sad, but it had to happen. Alright. A very long hallway. Wait, have I killed all the people in this area? Also, hold on just a second. Let me turn that down a little bit. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm not gonna save here. Just for the simple fact I need to kill things. Okay, uh, here's Asgore's house, which also contains what I believe to be the strongest. Strongest weapon and armor in the game. I got the real knife people. So, how much? Okay, so yeah, that, that is the best armor in the game. Right where it belongs. And how much damage do you do? Oh! 99 attack. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> About time. Howdy, Death. You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? Hehehe. <laughs> Boy, today's gonna be just as fun. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. It's me, Death. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champion. 98. <laughs> Well, it's a wonderful title to have. I remember when I first woke up here, in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom, Dad, somebody help me, I called out. But nobody came. That's kind of sad. Not gonna lie. Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I explained what happened to him. Then he held me, Death. He held me with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there. Everything's going to be alright. He was so emotional, but for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Because you did. Should I go back and fulfill my monster requirement before? Yeah, I'll do that real quick. Yeah, so it turns out I've already done it. I have already killed... Wait, did it say this was New Hall? Yeah. But as it turns out, I've already done it. I've already killed all the monsters required. I unlocked the chain and dark red text. Or not really dark red. I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it came too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. 
Inside, I found her, death. I thought of all people she could make me feel something again. She failed. Haha. <laughs> Toriel, yeah. I killed her. I realized those two were useless. <laughs> I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Death, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. And you know what? I succeeded. But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens to you? Something primal started to burn inside of me. No, I thought. I don't want to die. Then I woke up, like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden, back at my save point. Okay, so we're not the only ones who can do it, that's interesting. Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death, and at any point I could have left this world to continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Death? I was amazed, too. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. Solved all those problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing. For a while. As time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. It all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. Ha 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 What an excuse. You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least we're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves. Bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? Me? <laughs> Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, Death? I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book, burned every book. I've won every game, lost every game. I've appeased everyone. I've killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you death. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you and then steal your soul. I failed, and when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Death, your determination, somehow, is even greater than mine. Why am I giving Flowey this voice? I don't know! I just have one question for you, Death. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Huh? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left, and decided to give you a proper burial rather than hanging out in the basement forever. Wait, does he think I'm the dead child? <laughs> the, the one that he was killed over? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hanging out in the basement forever. But, why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? Nah, I'm not that person, man. I'm just an idiot behind a screen who wants to kill everything. It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this death. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. Uh, oh, no. oh, okay. Sorry about that. I'm tired of being a flower. Death. There's just one thing I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then, let them see what humanity is really like. That despite it all, this world still... 
kill or be killed. Then, well, I had been entertaining a few ways to use that power. <laughs> but seeing you here changed my mind. Death. I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. Oh, my evil made Flowey good. <laughs> Oops. We don't even need to leave to get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I've tried hundreds of ways to get him to show them to me, but he just won't. Death. I know he'll do it for you. Why am I telling you all this? Death. I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity. No, because I'm probably going to end up killing you. Creatures like us. Wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... So that's... Why? Ha ha. What's this feeling? Why am I shaking? Hey, Death. No, no hard feelings about back then, right? Hey, hey. What are you doing? Back off. Wait. Wait. He's terrified. Uh, I've changed my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. You should go back, Death. This place is fine the way it is. St st stop making that creepy face! This isn't funny! You've got a sick sense of humor! I really do. Sorry about that, Flowey. Sands. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna go fight Sands. At least I'm assuming I am. All right, game. Ah. Oh. Hey, ya. You been busy, huh? So. I've got a question for you. Do you think even if even the worst person can change, that everybody can be a good person if they just try? Probably. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Alright. Well, here's a better question. Do you want to have a bad time? Because if you take another step forward, you're really not going to like what happens next. Well... Sorry, old lady. Oh, you mean Toriel? This is why I never make promises. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you... ...should be burning in hell. Ah! Oh! Oh, okay! Um! Ah! 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 Okay! <laughs> I'm... <laughs> This is gonna be fun! Oh, trust me, I don't have very much hope to lose. I just gotta beat Sans. That should be easy enough, right, guys? You believe in me, right? <laughs> it's not like it took me several weeks to beat Undyne. You look frustrated about something. Guess I'm pretty good at my job, huh? A beautiful day outside. Are you gonna do this every time? Yeah, it should be burning in hell. Oh, I survived! Huh. I always wonder why people never use their strongest tech first. Hold on, guys. Oh, wait, that's a bit too loud. Hold on. I'm fixing it. There we go. Feel like you're gonna have a bad time. I already am! Oh! 
You should! Everyone else does. Uh, the, yeah, I died. <laughs> I'm not used to the blue mode. I've been fighting Undyne and Green. Alright, Sans, let's try this again! Huh. That expression. That's the expression of someone who's died twice in a row. Suffice to say, you look really unsatisfied. Alright. How about we make it a third? It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. How could you, Sans? Anyways, as I was saying, it's a nice day out. Why not relax and take a load off? What? You think I'm just gonna stand there and take it? Okay, I gotta get used to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm aware I died. All right, Sans. Once again. Hmm, that expression. That's the expression of someone who's died thrice in a row. Hey, what comes after thrice anyways? Want to help me find out? Here we go. How many times are you gonna dodge? What? You think I'm just gonna stand there and take it? Okay, I just tap it for him. You felt your sense crawling on your back. Okay. I've okay, that was horrible. I, I just keep saying okay. Okay! I have gotten to Sansa's third attack. That expression, that's the expression of someone who's died quite, twice in a row. Twice, price. Well, I have to use it again, anyways. Okay, I was left on one HP from that sands. Ah. <laughs> uh. At least this isn't one of those throwaway fights like Metaton and the yeah, others, you know. The only two bosses I've actually fought are Sans and um, Undyne. Wait, didn't I fight Toriel too? Dang, Sans. That's just mean. At least he asked me if I'm ready or not. I I didn't move. I should have. I gotta figure out that first or second attack. I can probably give it one more attempt, and then I'm gonna have to end this video. Um, I might go back to the shop and get better healing items.
I have no clue where that mystery key goes. Let me just save like this. And throw in this attempt. Hmm, that expression. That's the expression of someone who's died six times in a row. That's the number of fingers on a mutant hand. But soon, you'll need to find a mutant hand with even more fingers. Well, aren't you nice, Sans? Okay, well that didn't work out. <laughs> Well, anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this video here, so bye! What's up, lads? My name is Ragnarok, and it seems you reached the end of my show. If you liked it, you can subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye!